after the unions, I want to congratulate Senator Payman for the stance that she took, favouring her humanity above her career. She spoke out and saw the consequences. She has been trying for eight months to tell that party about a genocide that is going on and for them to, uh, to, to actually implement the promise they all made before the last election that they would not acknowledge Palestine as a state and they have reneged on it. Enter our media and every article I have read about what happened with Senator Payman concentrated on the colour of her skin or her religion or her age or the fact that she's a woman. For some reason our mainstream media can't find it in themselves to recognise that perhaps this had nothing to do with any of those things. And the people in the Labour Party are coming out making all accusations against her. We know exactly what's going on and the Labour Party have no stand, no, nothing to stand on anymore. They've broken every promise and shame on them at every one level of people in the Labour Party. Perhaps she thought that a, a genocide being, being live streamed for the last nine months was not a good thing. Perhaps she couldn't see, with, continue to witness the children of Gaza being massacred, 20,000 dead and more than 17,000 are missing, not necessarily missing, but they're roaming the streets of Gaza trying to find their next meal. Perhaps when she saw what happened to Haim Yunus, a city that had a population of 750,000 people that has been completely decimated, perhaps it was those atrocities that led her to make the decision that she made. When Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese came out and he said he condemned Senator Fatima Payman for what she did, that is a disgrace on the Prime Minister that he finally found and understood and used the word condemn, but he could not use that same word condemn against Israel. Shame. An absolute shame on him and his party for allowing this genocide and not able to once use the word condemn. So shame on you, Anthony Albanese. Um, congratulations to the independent Senator for Western Australia, Senator Fatima Payman, and power to her. We're here because we're human, not because we happen to be Palestinians or Muslims. Thank you.